How's it going everybody? Jack here once again with another unboxing for all of you today. And today I'm unboxing a package from the great Connor Patrick, my buddy Connor Patrick over at Creepy Customs. And if you don't know who he is, I have other unboxing on my channel of his uh, Halloween 1978 replica coveralls and his Halloween 2 1981 coveralls, the Sears coveralls that he replicates. And it's not just like he's getting coveralls and making them look like the movie. He is replicating the coveralls to a T, coveralls that are out of print. Amazing stuff this guy's doing. And of course, I think the coveralls that I reviewed and that I own are technically not even his best versions. He's outdone himself. I wasn't expecting to see him there, but I ran into Connor at Horror Hound Cincinnati and he was displaying his newest versions of his Halloween 1978 and Halloween 2 1981 coveralls, as well as some Halloween 6 coveralls, some Halloween 4 coveralls. He does them all now, folks, and he's replicating them all to a T. And of course, he's telling me that mine are outdated, that his work is outdated on mine, that I need to update them to his newest versions. And I said, oh, Connor, I can't not right now and then i saw among the coveralls he does i saw rob zombie michael myers coveralls and they looked phenomenal and i thought ah oh, i don't need to spend more money i got the haunt coming up i got haunt season coming up i need to save money and then i thought to myself yeah why not <laughs> The remake coveralls from Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2 from 2007 and 2009. Two of my favorite looks from Michael Myers ever. Say what you want about the movies, I think Michael looked awesome in those movies. And so I thought, I gotta get my hands on some of those. And so I looked through the available sizes and I thought, oh no, he doesn't have my size. And he said, don't worry about it. I will honor my convention prices because he was offering deals. If you bought the coveralls there, he was offering you really good deals. He said, I'll honor the prices that are listed here at the convention and I'll get your information. We'll get you a pair ordered. And in fact, they're going to be from my newest version. They're going to be even better than the ones I have here. At least that's what I think he said. I guess I could be remembering that wrong. Connor, I'm sorry if I got that information wrong, buddy. I'm not bad, man. I determined that I wanted the 2007 look rather than the Halloween 2 look. If I wanted the Halloween 2 look, I would definitely want to do the hospital. I think that is the best Michael looked in that movie anyway. But no, I wanted to do the 2007 look. It's been on my list of cosplays I want to do for the longest, longest time since I was a kid since I was 13 years old I've wanted to do the 2007 Michael Myers costume and I finally have a chance to do it now thanks to Connor because I just don't have the time or patience to get a pair of XO2 coveralls and go through the process to dye them and weather them to get them the right color because they are not even close to the color they originally were they weathered the hell out of those coveralls for those Rob Zombie movies well I had to wait a few months nothing I'm not used to but I finally got them. I finally got the Rob Zombie Halloween 2007 coveralls and I'm excited to open them because Connor's work. Listen folks, no one's ever done what he's doing. No one's ever gone and replicated coveralls like this. People have taken pre-existing coveralls and adjusted them to look more accurate to the movies, but no. He goes and he replicates them stitch by stitch from scratch. He's changing the game for costumes and I, I just think that's awesome. Connor, man, if you're watching this, thanks, man. I mean, just keep it up. You're making costumes available that would otherwise not be available for some people. Some people that were born too late and the coveralls are discontinued. That sucks. Why should they have to miss out? Well, you won't have to anymore. Connor pretty much does every version of the coveralls from every Halloween movie. From the original up until the latest one, which was Halloween Ends. <sighs> and he's great at what he does. And... I know I'm stalling, but he's a good communicator. He will communicate with you, he will answer your questions, he will get back to you in a timely manner, and he will make sure that you are a satisfied customer. He will take measurements, he will make sure that it fits you specifically, you and you only. I guess maybe not you only. I, I, I suppose that not one person's build would not be able to be worn by another person. Oh, shut up, Jack. Without further ado, let's get into this bad boy. I think I said that in another unboxing, but... Oh boy. Oh, cool little creepy custom sticker. I'll find somewhere cool to put that. Now the first thing I see is the patch. The famous chest patch on the Rob Zombie Michael Myers coveralls is worn by Tyler Maine in the Halloween remake. As well as the shoulder patch. 
Every little detail, folks. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, every little detail. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, these are amazing. These are actually amazing. Look at the color. He's actually gone through the tedious dyeing process involved in getting them to the color scene in the Rob Zombie's Halloween movies. But these are great. I Oh, like I asked for very minimal blood. And as you can see, very, very minimal blood. He listens. He listens to his customers, man. It, it doesn't get any better than Connor. Connor Patrick, go to Connor Patrick for your Michael Myers coveralls. Not that no one else does a good job, but Connor does better than them. <laughs> Just take a good look at these folks. Look at every little detail. Look at every little detail. I tell the man minimal blood, he gives me minimal blood. Just enough blood. That's how I like my 2007 Michael Myers coveralls. Look at the color of these things. That is such a specific color, and he nailed it. That was the first thing I noticed when I saw his booth at Horror Hound Cincinnati, is just how accurate the color he got. That is a tedious, tedious weathering and dyeing process. And, and you know, it's... Ugh, so many people just do not get that color right, because it's a hard thing to do. But Connor does it, and Connor does it well. All right, let me throw these things on and show you what they look like in action. Ding. Ding. Here they are. This knife is also made by Creepy Customs. It's not a remake knife. This is actually a 1978 replica knife. Connor kills it. He kills it no matter what he does. Okay, so here they are. They fit pretty well. Pretty baggy, but from what I remember, they also fit pretty baggy on Tyler May. The only part that bothers me a little bit is the sleeves now i did just pull up some pictures of michael myers in the remake and the sleeves they kind of did bunch up at the end they kind of did bunch up at the end but if you know if i let it go then here's what happens <laughs> like a little kid in a michael myers costume but that might actually be intentional or it might be an easy fix but they fit fairly well i i think so anyway But outside of the sleeves kind of going over my hands, I say they fit fairly well. They are kind of baggy on my on my legs as well, as you can see here. But I believe that is completely intentional. You see how they kind of parachute just a little bit. But I believe, you know, go and watch that movie. I believe that is just how he looks in that movie. I'm just imagining that scene uh, of him walking up to his mother in, you know, on the horse or by the horse or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I believe that that part is intentional. But outside of the sleeves kind of falling over my hands, these fit really well. A little bit baggy, but I think that's intentional. Here's a good look at the shoulder patch, the chest patch. Here's a good look at it from behind. I kind of have the long hair like Michael in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks great. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks like it looks like a shot from the movie. How about I get some more appropriate lighting in here?
I'm just giving you guys a good look at these coveralls and some dramatic lighting. Just show them off. This is a Della Torre Berry, by the way. I couldn't tell you what generation. I got it off of eBay, and it didn't say. I didn't even expect to win the bid. I stole this thing. I know this isn't the uh, accurate knife. It's just a placeholder. Uh, I also I'm just I'm just wearing a normal gray shirt. This is not the accurate shirt. Like I said, placeholders, placeholders. These are awesome. Well guys, I think that'll do for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to support Connor's work. Check out Creepy Customs. He doesn't just do Michael Myers stuff. He does everything. Any costume you can imagine. And he does the best. I swear on my life. I wouldn't just say that. This man has amazing work. This man's work is unbeatable. Seriously. Go check out and support Creepy Customs. That'll do for this video, you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. See ya.